Hi, this is Amy Schmidt with the University of Nebraska at Lincoln. Um, this poster is about a project called the Assessment of a Method of Photo Analysis for Demonstrating Soil Quality. And in my group at the University of Nebraska, we've been working quite a bit in recent years on measuring impacts of different um, land application uh, practices on soil physical, biological, and chemical properties. Um, You've probably seen the Soil Your Undies experiment before, which became very popular a few years back. Um, you could take a pair of cotton underwear and bury it in a field where you've been implementing a practice, um, maybe compare it to another field where you're not using that practice. And essentially you're looking at how, does, how quickly does that fabric degrade over time? And it's an indication of microbiological activity in the soil because the microbes in your soil break down carbon material and cotton fabric is a carbon-based material. Um, and this is a really great visual experiment, uh, visual demonstration for farmers. But from a research perspective, we didn't really have a way to quantify um, either the rate of degradation <clears throat> or the difference among different treatments in degradation. And so for this project, um, a graduate student working with me, uh, Carla Melgar Valise, um, she set out to study um, using pre-measured pieces of cotton fabric that we could put out in the field and collect at different times. And then we knew we could, um, we could manually determine the uh, amount of degradation of that fabric. And we did that uh, by overlaying a grid onto the fabric after it was um, collected from the field and actually counting the squares where there was degradation um, to get a percent degradation of that piece of fabric. But that's really time consuming um, and not a lot of fun. And so we wanted to test a couple of different photo analysis softwares uh, to see if those would give us a similar result to, the, to what we would call the hand count method. And so the two programs that Carla worked with were Photoshop and Image J. And over on the right hand side of the poster <clears throat> are the graphs that we developed that compare these different methods. So that top graph shows the percent degradation of fabric uh, quantified by the three different methods. And so um, Photoshop and Image J both were very close in, um, in their prediction or their analysis of how much fabric was degraded um, based on looking at pixel color in that image. They were very close to each other and they were very close to the hand count method. So in the next two graphs below, we actually show um, the percent degradation of samples. Uh, on the, t so the second graph is uh, degradation as determined by Photoshop. And the bottom one is degradation as determined by image J. And on the y-axis for both of those graphs is the percent degradation determined by hand count. And what you see um, are two very well-fit lines, uh, very high R-squared values. And essentially, um, this told us that both of these methods were very good at analyzing that piece of fabric and coming up with a percent degradation based on pixel colors in that, um, that image. And so we feel like this is a good measurement method for research-based projects, um, maybe not as much for just demonstrating um, degradation of carbon in soil uh, for a producer, but for measuring degradation under different conditions. And in our case, we've gone on and used this to look at rate of degradation and total carbon degradation with uh, manure application, with um, manure plus wood chips applied. We're getting ready to put these um, fabric squares in plots that are um, in cover crops, um, no-till. And so we see it as, a, as an effective way to actually quantify total degradation and rate of degradation of a cotton fabric in soil that's under different treatments. So I would encourage you to um, read a little bit more about it here. If you have questions, I'm happy to visit with you. You can reach out to me um, at aschmidt.unl.edu. Thank you.